Hi, uh, my name is Vinay and in this video we will just uh, implement an experiment uh, which is an arithmetic and logical unit, an ALU, which is a four-bit design. So here you can see that uh, I have declared an ALU module which has input A, B and select op option for the ALU. So here with this select you can make various operations for the inputs and the output will be produced at the ALU output which is again a 4-bit output along with a carry flag at the output. So I have implemented few instructions so like addition, subtraction, multiplication, inversion of an input, uh, logical shift left and right, rotate left and right, logical AND or XOR, NOR, NAND, XNOR and even comparison like greater and equal. Okay. So these are some experiment, uh, sorry, some operations implemented, and I have used a case statement in Verilog to implement this. Okay, so you can make changes according to your requirement, and you can make using if then else logic also, although corresponding result might be almost similar. So here is the test bench for the ALU. So here I have taken two inputs at the initial value like six and two, and uh, I initialize the select input to 0 and I use a for loop and keep on changing the select input after every 10 nanosecond. Okay, so thereby we can see the operation happening on this input uh, throughout the sequence. Okay, so I'm using an Xilinx IC series software and FPJ is a Spartan 3 series FPJ which is a 50k uh, gate FPJ. So I start with simulation of the design and I select the test bench and I just say click on simulate behavioral model. So he will implement this and uh, execute the simula simulator of it which is ISIM simulator of the Xilinx. So I can just, if you want you can change the radix of all the signals to unsigned decimal. Okay, and let's zoom a little bit and go at the home location so thereby you can see that uh, the alu select is being set as zero okay so for zero it is addition so six plus two it is eight okay and after that you can see the select line keep on changing to a numeric one order like one two three four five six seven eight and so on so for one it is subtraction so six minus two it is four and for two it is multiplication so six into two it is twelve and this one is inversion of the a so it inverts six and make it a nine okay and so on it is a shift left and shift right of the inputs and so on so you keep on verifying the logic functionality and see how do they work functionally okay so that's how it is so you can keep on scrolling and you can see the result you can tabulate them and you can take the print screen or you can convert into a pdf of the screenshot and uh, put it in your assignment file so this is about the simulation now let's go to the implementation of this so for implementing in the Xilinx FPJ you have to select um, the mode of the software to implementation and you have to select the module which you want to implement this has to be set to top level module otherwise uh, these things will not be there if you select a test bench so here you can see that for the test bench, they go missing. Okay, so let's synthesize the design and see what comes up. As this is a combinational design, so we will not see any uh, clock part delay. That won't be there. We will see the, only the combinational part delay. So here you can see that's why the software also mentioned that uh, I do not found any clock path. So he just says that the maximum combinational part delay is 15.32 nanoseconds. Okay, you can even if you want you can see the uh, the technological schematic you can open it so you can go inside and you can zoom and you can see the implementation of the various logic in the lookup tables so there you are so all these modules you can open up and you can see the schematic of it you can see the equations through table and the kind of map of each lookup table then you, you can see the design summary and you can see the synthesis report over here so it shows the synthesis report okay so thereby he mentions you that okay how many multipliers have been implemented how many other subtractor have been implemented or the comparators and how many XOR days or multiplexes you have used 
so if we come down and uh, yeah so he distributes the panel report in more detailed format than how many number of cells have been used in terms of lookup table two input three input and four input okay so in terms of percentages he tells you that i have used 23 uh, slices out of 768 available so that's less than two i mean close to two percent of the implementation okay and in terms of timing report so he tells you that uh, 15 nanosecond is the maximum combination of path delay okay so here you see the detail of that critical path delay the distribution of the delay okay so he tells you that this is the alu select input uh, 2 to the output alu uh, the msb that is 3 so this is pad to pad delay so he tells you the input uh, buffer delay is around uh, the gate delay is 0 0.7 and the net delay is 1.2 and so on so the signal propagates through various stages of the cells so for each stage he distributes the delays and tells you the total of it so here is the distribution that uh, 9 nanosecond logical delay and 6 nanosecond is being used for routing purpose okay so if you want you can change the, the design goals for example you can right click on synthesis part and say design goals and strategies so this was balanced so you can ask him that okay i want a better timing performance okay and you just rerun this and let's wait for the result how it comes up so we remember that the last delay was the total was 15 okay out of that nine was logical and six were routing delays okay so i don't think so there is much of impact yeah there's not much of impact no nothing at all okay so in case of rpj this this is not much of impacting because same amount of logic would be there and uh, if we try balance we have already done So let's try with the physical synthesis. So here, does it make any changes or not? No, not much, nothing at all. So the delays remain the same. Okay, because it's the same number of stages the signal has to pass through. So that delay will remain over there. So you can implement the design further. So that is like the backend part of the FPJ. So where he does all this process like translation, mapping, and place and route on the FPGA device. And you can click back on design summary. Now let me open once it completes. So here's the design summary. So here you can see all the device utilization and these are the performance utilizations. Okay. So there you are. So if you open this post after the placement router uh, timing and performance. So here are all the path to path delay. So from each uh, source to the destination path. So what are the delays? So that he lists out. Okay. So the critical path is around 13.6 something after the implementation. So that is a simple ALU. You can make modification to make a 32-bit ALU and see what difference it will bring and how much order utilization will change. Okay. Thank you very much.